Hi, I'm William Joseph Hill with ExpertVillage.com. I'm here to talk about Okinawan Kempo Karate Kobudo. I'm a second degree black belt from Honolulu, Hawaii. That's where I got all my training. I'm going to go over the history of karate, which applies to not just Okinawan Kempo, but all Okinawan styles and even Japanese styles. And I'll do some demonstrations of some basic techniques and an overview of kata, sparring, all the different facets of the martial art. And uh, I'll also show a little bit of weapons or Kobudo. Okay, so now I want to talk about the history of karate. Now, there are a lot of different theories as to where the martial arts came from, and all of them are probably equally valid. But the one uh, theory is that martial arts actually originated in ancient Greece. There was this form of Greek wrestling called pancration, and it included punching, kicking, grappling. It looked a lot like today's UFC fights or ultimate fighting. From there, the ancient Greek sailors traveled around the world. They became in contact with the Asians, Chinese, and the Indonesians, and the Thais, and that's where the Chinese picked it up. From there, the Chinese really evolved martial arts into this advanced system that uh, people call Kung Fu, but there's actually literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of different variations of Kung Fu, or, or Wushu as they call it in China, martial arts. The Chinese sailors, they started to do trade with Okinawa, the small island that's south of Japan. And that's where they came in contact with the Okinawans. Now, there was uh, one Chinese, uh, he was a sailor, he was actually a military leader that actually traveled to Okinawa. His name was Kosanko. And he came and did a lot of trade with the Okinawans and showed them a lot of techniques, or what they called Chuanfa, or long fist boxing, or it's like Kenpo. Law of the fist was the, the literal translation for that. Well, the Okinawans saw these real advanced Chinese techniques. And the thing is, with the Chinese techniques, if you've ever seen Kung Fu, it's like very long stances, very extended, flowery, circular mo motions and stuff like that. The Okinawans, they're kind of like very simple-minded. They lived in beach kind of, uh, beach kind of terrain, and so they didn't want to be able to, they didn't want to try to attempt that kind of stuff because it's dangerous for your footwork. You might slip. So they adapted it to their own localized fighting style, which was just wrestling and throwing each other around and stuff.